Hi, my name is Kian, and I'm a fourth year life science student at the University of Toronto, and I volunteer for Pueblo Science. And I'm joined by my sister. Hey guys, I'm Evelyn. And we're here to teach you a pretty cool experiment today. Bubbles. Everybody knows bubbles. You can see them everywhere from parks to carnivals and even in birthday parties. But you can only enjoy them for so long until they pop. But what if I told you, Madeline, and the viewers at home, that you can make unpoppable bubbles? No way. You don't believe me? No, I really don't. Watch this. No way. That is so cool. Well, viewers at home, we can teach you how to make exactly this unpoppable bubble with these simple materials. Now, the things you need are a wettable surface, such as a plate. You need a straw that you can get at any convenience store or even at home. And finally, a soap solution, which you can also make at home. First, you make sure your wettable surface is nice and wet with a bubble solution. Then, you dip your straw in your bubble or soap solution and rotate it so it's coated evenly on the surface of the straw. Now, after dipping your straw in the soap or bubble solution, there should be a thin layer of soap solution at the tip of your straw. Now, bring it close to the wettable surface and simply blow. Now you've made an unpoppable bubble. If you notice, if you try to pop the bubble with a coated straw, it just won't pop, even if you put the entire straw through. But if you take an uncoated finger or any object that's not coated with solution, it'll simply pop. Well, for the, for the viewers at home, you may be wondering, how do these bubbles actually work? Well, here's the science behind it all. So this is a structure of a bubble. A bubble consists of three layers, an outer soap layer, an inner soap layer, and liquid water. So if you've learned from previous episodes, what keeps the bubble in a circular shape is surface tension. Now, if you don't remember, surface tension is the force that is being pulled downwards on the surface of water by hydrogen bonds. So what actually makes a bubble pop? A bubble pops when the liquid water evaporates or converts from liquid into gas. So if we put our straw earlier, and poked it at the bubble, it would remove this outer soap layer and allow the liquid water to evaporate, causing the bubble to pop. But what if we coated, or what if we soaked our straw in soap solution? If there was soap solution, around the straw, then you wouldn't allow the water molecules to evaporate. And thus, you're maintaining the bubble's shape and not allowing it to pop. We hope you had fun making unpoppable bubbles with us. Subscribe and like down below for more Pueblo science videos.